Physicists have devised a theory which describes the behavior of matter, and we call it the standard model. While the theory is wildly successful, it's incomplete. It just doesn't answer all questions. Because of this lack, physicists have tried to invent extensions to the standard model. One popular extension is called supersymmetry. In another video, I told you what supersymmetry really is. Briefly, a supersymmetric theory is one that treats forces and matter on an equal footing. A crucial feature is that for every known matter particle, a theory that includes supersymmetry predicts a new force particle and vice versa. So you might be asking yourself, what is it that makes supersymmetry so interesting to physicists that there are over 10,000 scientific papers devoted to it in spite of having no direct experimental evidence that it's real? Supersymmetry has many attractive features, too many to describe here. But we can mention three. The first one has to do with the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson is the detectable signature of the Higgs field, which is an energy field that gives fundamental subatomic particles their mass. The problem is that it's hard to understand why the Higgs boson has the mass that it has. Because of quantum mechanics, the most reasonable value predicted by the standard model for the mass of the Higgs boson is very large. If supersymmetry is real, one of the effects of the extra particles predicted by the theory is that they can cancel out the huge value seen in the traditional theory. This leads to a prediction of the mass of the Higgs boson that agrees with what we've observed. Another problem that a theory that includes supersymmetry solves has to do with the unification of forces. Unification of forces has a long history in physics. Primitive man knew that if you drop the ball, that it falls and he saw the motion of the planets in the heavens. This seemed to be unrelated until Sir Isaac Newton realized that a single force of gravity could explain these quite different phenomena. Let me introduce another example. It is not at all obvious that a dramatic lightning bolt, ordinary light, a simple magnet, and the fact that some materials are liquid while others are solid all stem from the same principles. But Maxwell's equations, first worked out in the 1860s, show just that. These very different phenomena had a single explanation called electromagnetism. Similarly, scientists have reason to believe that the three forces that we understand at the subatomic level might be different aspects of a single unifying force. One reason that we believe this is that the strength of these three forces, electromagnetism and the strong and weak nuclear forces, vary as a function of the energy at which we study them. Using the standard model, we can predict how the strength of these forces change, and we find that at very high energy, they become similar. But the strength of the three forces don't become the same at a single energy. In contrast, when we do the same exercise using a theory that includes supersymmetry, we find that the three forces unify to a single strength at a single energy. There is no fundamental reason why the universe must unify the forces at a single energy, but it is rather elegant. And this is a reason that scientists find supersymmetry to be attractive. The final of our three reasons that physicists like supersymmetry comes not from the microworld, but rather from the cosmos. Astronomers have long known that galaxies spin faster than we can explain with the known laws of physics and the galaxy's observed mass. To save astronomy, scientists postulated a new kind of matter called dark matter that solved the problem. The difficulty is that we have never directly observed dark matter. However, Remember that supersymmetric theories predict a series of particles that are cousins of the familiar particles of the standard model. The lightest of these supersymmetric cousins, called the lightest supersymmetric particle, or LSP, has exactly the right properties to be the missing dark matter particle. Thus, if supersymmetry is right, we can solve both cosmic as well as sub subatomic mysteries. The ability to solve many mysteries at once has often been the signature that scientists are on the right track. Just because the principle of supersymmetry can, one, explain the mass of the Higgs boson, two, give a natural description of how the subatomic forces unify, and three, provide a candidate for dark matter, doesn't make supersymmetry a real phenomenon. It could be that these three questions have three different answers. Still, the potential explanatory power of the idea of supersymmetry is very large, and this guarantees that it will be an interesting subject of study for the foreseeable future.